there. I am Jennifer Elizabeth Masters. I'm a soul sculptor and there is nothing more powerful than being present in this moment. And why is that? Well, I, I'll tell you a little story. I'll share a little bit about me. There was a time when I was incredibly scattered. I was anxiety filled. I was depressed. I was unhappy. I, I felt less than everybody else. I didn't feel loved. Um, I felt lost. I felt broken. And um, needless to say, I was a miserable person. I mean, not miserable, but my life wasn't joyful. There, there wasn't um, a centered, constant, loving energy flowing through my life like there is now. And so consequently, I attracted all kinds of chaos, all kinds of conflict. And of course, because I didn't feel loved, I would attract people that would show me that that was true. So I don't know if that has happened to you or not, but what I will say is being present in the moment is one of the first steps to a blissful life. And how can you do that when there's so much chaos going on, when, when this life is filled with, with um, everything but peace, it seems? Well, it's, it's by focusing on what's happening for you as opposed to what's happening with your mother, your brother, your friends. I, I, I coach uh, women and men, and I've been doing this for quite a number of years, and I've seen countless people focus on everyone else but themselves. And so when our attention is on others, when our attention is on what's he doing, what's she doing, what's going on with that person, then we are not focused on what's happening within. And the more that we can focus on what is going on within us, how do I feel today? And if it's not a wonderful feeling, how can I change that feeling? How can I make what I'm feeling right now better? And I'm going to give you a couple of tips on that because we can always tap into higher, better, more sovereign, sovereign being that you know the truth of your being and you lovingly speak that truth on a daily basis that you are who you are with everyone you meet you don't have to be different with different people you don't have to be fake with with people you can be your authentic self without fear okay so being present in the moment in, involves breath I'd love to hear below um, what you're doing right now. Are you holding your breath? Are you breathing deeply? Are you, um, are you doing three things at once? Or are you watching this video? Are you watching me? Are you looking me in the eyes and going, yes, Jennifer, I'm here with you. I want to hear that. Are you here with me right now? Take a deep breath. And can you feel me? Can you feel my energy? Because I am sending you love. I am sending you joy. I am sending you bliss. Breathe. So how deeply are you breathing? Are you just taking a little sniff of oxygen? Or are you actually breathing in from your belly, filling your lungs? Because you deserve all that oxygen. Take up more space. Be unapologetically you and breathe into this moment. Okay, so the fastest way to shift a bad feeling is find gratitude in the moment. How can you find gratitude in this very moment? How can you find gratitude in, okay, so maybe life isn't wonderful. Maybe things aren't going as planned. But you know what? And I know this for a fact. The universe is working for you. 
the universe is always orchestrating our lives for us. Sometimes it doesn't appear that way. And I can tell you a couple little stories about how the universe does operate that way. We are in an interactive universe. So the more that we focus on one subject, and it could be, oh, well, I don't want to eat that because it causes cancer. I don't want to eat that because it causes cancer. What's your focus? Is your focus on health? No, your focus is on cancer and dying. So shift that focus. I'm grateful for me. I'm grateful for my vibrant health today. I am grateful for this moment. Take a deep breath. So I have to entertain my dog so he doesn't bark. I'm at the beach. This is his happy place. It's his favorite place to be. It's mine too. And so um, I am with you, but I have to throw the ball to keep him from barking. Okay, so take a deep breath. How can you expand your consciousness to involve more grace? How can I expand my consciousness to be open to receive what I deserve? How can I open my consciousness and open my heart and let go of all the past suffering, negativity, so that I can have more space for joy? So the universe does not like a vacuum. What does that mean? It means that when we let go, when we let go of the suffering, when we let go of the pain, when we let go of the vengeance, needing to get back at others, when we let go of resentment, it allows space for more. And then when you start to open your heart more, love yourself more, open to receive more, Breathing in the infinity that is you. Breathing in the expanded self that you are. Ah, happy birthday, Rolando. Happy birthday. <laughs> okay, so birthday wishes to whoever's birthday. It is today. It was Rolando's, I think, yesterday. Okay, take a deep breath. Ah. So breathe in love, because love is all around you. <laughs> You're welcome. Breathe in. <sighs> let go of anger, let go of resentment, let go of anything less than joy. Breathe in receptivity. Breathe in expansiveness. Breathe in the highest truth of who you are. Smile to your heart. Ah, exhale whatever doesn't serve you any longer. So we're staying in the present moment. Thankful, thankful for this moment. Thankful for this day. I'm so grateful I'm alive to be here now. I'm so grateful to be here to receive all that the universe brings to me. I am so grateful for the grace, the love, the joy. I'm so grateful for the brilliance that is me. I'm so grateful for the love that I am able to give and receive. Let go of anything that's less than joy. Let go of anything that is less than love. Let go of the guilt, the sorrow, let go. Breathe it out. gratitude for you. I'm thankful for you. I'm grateful that you're here. I'm grateful for this day. So we are more powerful when we're standing in this moment, when we're in this present moment, as opposed to focused on the future. When we start to focus on tomorrow, well, where, where am I going to be tomorrow? What's going to happen tomorrow? What could possibly go wrong to know? <laughs> Stay here right now, right now. All we have is now because nothing else is promised. And the more in joy that we are for this moment as opposed to, oh, 
What a shitty life I lead. My husband is a piece of doo-doo. My kids don't listen to me. My life, no. So focus on the good. What good can you find in all of that? How about, I'm so grateful my kids are healthy. I'm so grateful that they have spunk. I'm so grateful to be learning from them. Our children are one of our biggest teachers. Having gra gratitude for our ancestors, our, our, those that have gone before us, that, that we have learned so much from our ancestors. Thank you for my grandparents. Thank you for my parents that brought me into this world. Because our parents suffered greatly. They did. And, and they gave up a lot to have us. And so when we can sit down and write that letter of gratitude, whether they're still living, it doesn't matter. Write that letter of gratitude. I did it for my mom. Thank you, mom, for all the times you took me to the doctor and the dentist. I know it cost you money. I know it meant that you didn't get to do all the things you wanted to do. So, so that is having gratitude for what has gone before. And there's always a silver lining. And so, so rising up as opposed to sinking down. Universal energy moves up. Energy's always moving. And so we want to keep it moving in a positive way. So in an upward spiral as opposed to negative and flowing downward. So how can you turn that ship around? How can you find grace and gratitude and love for what is going on now? How can you find? So questions expand us. Statements stating that this is how it is actually keep us stuck in a paradigm. And we, we may have a tendency to go, if this happens, then that is so. And if that happens, then I'm out of here. And we can limit ourselves with those rules. And we can make rules for ourselves that limit us and actually keep us from joy. Okay, so what rules can you let go of? Maybe it's a rule about yourself that Maybe you're too old to date. Maybe you're too old to have sex. Maybe you're too old to have joy. None of those things are true. How can you see yourself differently from a place of love, joy, and expansion? How can you see your life from a place of, well, I would like things to be different, but I'm okay with where I'm at right now. And tomorrow's another day I'm going to keep looking for the positive I'm going to keep looking for the grace and everything and I'm going to keep asking for assistance because I know I can't do this on my own you know when I first moved to Ojai it was about 18 months ago I didn't know a soul not one person here and now I, I go into stores, I go in, I, people know me by name. It, it only took me a year. So if you don't have friends, get yourself out of your, of your stuck space. See, how can I do this differently? Instead of looking for someone to give something to you, how can you give something to someone else? How, what gift can you give someone else? It doesn't have to be money, but what, what gift do you have that you could give someone that is going to bring you joy instead of expecting for others to give it to you? Okay, take another deep breath. Exhaling resentment, exhaling hatred, exhaling worry about what's going to happen. I trust, I trust the universe to work out for my highest good. I trust that everything is in divine order. So making statements that support you as opposed to statements that stagnate you or judge love you more. You can always love yourself more. 
you can always accept yourself more. And so someone posted on my page, um, I think it was this past week, that how can you love yourself if you hate yourself? Well, that's exactly the point. I used to hate myself. I really did. So how did I change that? I turned my thoughts around. I wore a rubber band on my wrist and I would, every time I, I said a hurtful thought, I'm stupid, oh, I should have known better, that wasn't a good thing to do, why did you spend that money, why did you sleep with him, why did you marry him? So when I started twinging myself for all the negative thoughts that I had for me, it, it was hurting my wrist. It stopped all that negativity. And my thoughts were killing me. I turned them around into positive thoughts, loving, supportive thoughts. And that's the key to health. The key to health is to be grateful for who you are and what you have right now and be open to receive more. But we have to express that gratitude, breathing in. I'm so grateful for right now. I'm grateful that you're here. I'm grateful that you're watching. I'm so grateful for my life. So we're focusing on this moment now. There's power in the now. So, okay, so my guides are just, they're talking to me here. It's really important to not compare ourselves to others because when we do, it implodes our field. It makes us feel very small. We are not meant to compare ourselves to anyone else, whether it's business-wise or personally, or or look at, oh, I wish I had their marriage. I wish I had their relationship. Well, the truth is you don't know what goes on behind closed doors. I did that once and, and I was looking at someone's relationship thinking, oh, wow, it's really wonderful. But when I did see, actually had a glimpse of what was really going on, it wasn't something I actually would want. So focus on what you have. Be grateful for it. Breathe. There's power in this moment, staying present, not multitasking, expanding your lungs, allowing grace to flow. And, and okay, so the past, <laughs> the past is already gone. And, and I've had people ask me, so okay, what about regret? So that, that comes from unforgiveness. So we need to forgive ourselves for anything we did or didn't do or said or didn't say. Forgive ourselves first and forgive everyone else. And don't be looking over your shoulder going, geez, I wish I didn't marry that guy. I wish I didn't spend that money. I wish I didn't take that course that I never used. Okay, so um, the thing that I would like you to do I have a Valentine's package. It's got five fabulous, uh, four courses and, and one audio. So the four courses total, there's 19 energy clearings. If you were to get 19 energy clearings with me, it would cost you thousands of dollars. But what I will say is if you listen to every one of these audios, 19 audios. It's more than 19, 19 energy clearings in this package. It's my Valentine's package. It, it is transformational. And there's, there's four courses. Two are, uh, one is six weeks or six hours, and the other is seven, and they have tremendous information in them. I hope you'll check them out. They're on my page somewhere. Uh, I also have a depression package for $37 that clears depression, anxiety, and even suicide. So I hope that you'll check those out. My website is jenniferelizabethmasters.com. And if you like this, if this helped you, share it with a friend. Sharing is caring. Sending you so much love today from Summerlin, California. Thanks for watching. If you have anxiety issues, join my anxiety group. Anxiety Depression Group. I'm about to go there right now. Sending you love. Thanks for watching.